I made a 2025 vision board in Notion. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing an easy step-by-step -step tutorial and Notion template. So if you're looking to add a little bit more of substance, a little more pizzazz to your Notion board besides just that basic board, don't worry, I'm going to share my simple secret to making an aesthetic Notion board. I've been making vision boards probably for decades now, I'm aging myself, and I've certainly honed in on how to make a vision board that actually works. Plus, I'm a neuropsychologist, so I actually understand the neuroscience of an effective vision board. So all that to say, you can trust me and you're in the right place. So let's jump in. But first, goals. Okay, so it might be obvious, but before you make your vision board, you need to have done the thought work to actually set the goals for the coming year. So that means reflecting on your last year, clarifying your most important values, aligning with your higher self, and really defining what I call your moon goals. So Les Brown said, reach for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. And I like to think of our larger yearly goals as those moon goals and our more strategic quarterly or 12 week year goals as the stars that will hop to get there. So as a pro tip, you want to do this with pen and paper. And you're probably thinking, Dr. Shelton, you just told us to get into a digital vision board. Now you're advocating for pen and paper. Yes, the digital part is just for the vision board and maybe tracking your goals. But for actually setting your goals, the research is clear. Put pen to paper and watch ish happen. In fact, many studies have shown that those that write down their goals with pen and paper are more likely to achieve them. So I am a hybrid girl. I use a system of digital planning as well as paper planning when it comes to setting my goals. And specifically, I use my Mod Ambition 2-in-1 Goal Planner and 90-Day Planner to set my yearly goals. Honestly, I could share the amazing reviews on my planner, which I do sometimes, but my own life is the best testimony. Since I've used this system in my planner, my goals have been easier to achieve and I've hit some of my biggest goals like becoming a published author and starting a profitable business using the system that I have in there for you in the planner. And truly, the only thing standing between you and achieving your dream life is a proven system to get you there, which is why I created my Modern Mission Planner in the first place. So whether you use my planner or your own goal setting system, make sure you do it first with pen and paper. Okay, so with that out of the way, we have our goals. I want us to now wrap our brains around our goals, really. So of course, being a neuropsychologist, I'm gonna give you a vision board strategy backed by science. So the first thing you need to know is how to actually use your vision board when you create it. Dr. Emily Balsettis is a neuroscientist that studies our visual pathways in the brain and how it relates to accomplishing our goals. And in her research on vision boards, she actually found that they don't actually Actually motivate us to reach our goals. In fact, she found that in most cases, looking at our vision boards gives our brains this sense of satisfaction and accomplishment, like we actually already accomplished our goal, and it reduces that motivation to do the work to reach our goals. But stay with me, vision boards still have their place in goal getting and goal setting. But instead of using them for motivation, we should be using them for goals clarification. That's because when we sit down to write our goals, we're tapping into that left side of our brain, which is all about verbal and auditory processing. In order to fully wrap our brains around what we're setting out to achieve, it's important to also in, uh, incorporate the right side of our brain, which is more visual and holistic. Therefore, vision boards are uniquely beneficial in defining and clarifying our goals and helping you to wrap your brain around what it is you're actually setting out to achieve in this goal setting process. So just keep in mind, vision boards are really important when you're setting those goals and when you need to be reminded of those goals, like when you're doing your quarterly planning. But if you're looking for motivation, to do the work to achieve these goals in your everyday life, vision boards are, shouldn't be used then because when you look at it, you'll get this sense of accomplishment, which doesn't really support motivation. So now that we've wrapped our brains around how vision boards actually can help us, let's talk about how we can effectively come up with images to define those goals that we're setting for ourselves. So to come up with these visuals for your board, I think it can be really beneficial to not just find visual representations for your goals, but to dig a little bit deeper and to find images that will give you a more holistic depiction of what it is that you're setting out for. So here are some prompts that you can follow to help you come up with images for your vision board that really support the neuro science of goal achievement. And don't worry, all these reflection prompts are in my vision board notion template. If you want a quick and easy way to apply the, what you're learning in this video, I got you. Okay, 
So the first prompt to help you wrap your brain around your goals is to write down what are the themes of your goals as you look at all your goals, what are the themes and the overarching ideas that pop out to you and how can you represent those visually? So that's probably what you typically do. Number two, next is to use the prompt of writing down what is your life going to look like when you actually accomplish these goals, not only the goals themselves, but what in turn will that do for your life? What will that open up for your life? What will that bring into your life to give you some ideas of some other visuals you may want to incorporate that you haven't considered yet. I also want you to clarify your goals when it comes to the strategic actions you're going to take to reach your goals. So let's say that you want to expand your business this year to a certain amount of revenue, not only putting images of the money that you're going to track or maybe like the things you're going to do with that money, but thinking about what are the actions I'm going to take this year to get there. So write down and find images that correlate with those actions. For example, something I also like to do is to find images that are more symbolic and represent your goals on a more ethereal level. So write down any things like nature symbolism, animal symbolism, colors that really embody the energy of what you're going for. Um, think about the vibe that you're creating with your goals and what symbols represent that vibe. And then if you're using my vision board notion template, there are a couple of other prompts that are just useful to keep on your vision board page in Notion that I like to do every year. Um, so the first one is writing out your five-year goals and your 10-year goals. A lot of times we're writing out our goals for the year. They're actually moving us closer to where we want to be even further down the line if we think about it. So to just take a, a moment to brainstorm, what are the goals that are, your current year is moving you towards? And can you find any visual imagery to represent those things? And then I also want you to write down your word of the year. This is something I love. It's a very very powerful exercise. I have been encapsulating the vibe of my goals into one word um, each year. And I think it's been very helpful to keep me on track throughout the year. So my word of the year this year was wellness. And it has showed up for me in so many different ways throughout each 12 week year and really kept me on track with the overall overarching theme of what all my goals were trying to achieve this year. So if you're stuck on how to get started with deciding on your word of the year, I have a three prompts that I want to give you that can help you come up with a powerful word of the year. Number one is what quality or mindset do I need most to stay aligned with my goals this year? Number two, if I could embody one word to guide my decisions and actions this year, what would it be? And then number three, looking at my goals, what do I want to feel most proud of by the end of the year? Use those prompts and I hope it helps you come up with a word of the year that you can actually put in the center of your vision board. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Dr. Tiffany shelton Mariel. I'm a neuropsychologist and published author. I make videos on how to intentionally get more done so you can actually enjoy your dream life. So be sure to subscribe and join the family. Okay, so now the fun part. Let's move into Knit Notion. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create an aesthetic vision board in Notion. All right, we are in Notion and I just want to show you guys the options that you usually have to um, create a, notion, a vision board in Notion. So let's say example, um, you can do it where you put your board here. You can do a database in line. Let's do the view as a gallery. And what you can do is enter images here. Just go into one of these example. You can add the cover. Let's see, upload image. So let's say this is one of them that you want. And in that you can change, either you can change the view here to show page cover and it'll show it there. You can even like reposition that if you want to get more. And you can do that for all of them. The only thing with that is you're kind of restricted to this sort of layout here that is a little bit mm, not so great. Um, and then there's words. It doesn't really give vision board, if you will. I also know some folks do this other thing that I don't like, but I will show you just in case where you just type uh, image here and you upload your files and move them around. So you do one here and you, let's say, could do and maybe make that one smaller. Then you could do another image and then let's see, kind of drag it next here because Notion is pretty intuitive. However, again, you're limited to like the layout of what you can do in Notion, which is kind of restricted. You can make this full width. So if you want to do that, great. I'm going to show you how I did it in my Notion vision board template, which you can get in the description below. You'll see it has all the instructions under the instructions. I also give you all these Canva templates. So I give you the template for this cover. You can change the images. You can change the background. I also give you the vision board template here um, for you to use. And 
that'll be there for you. It all comes with the Notion vision board template. Um, but let's take a look at what this looks like. So you have the instructions on how to use the template. And then you also have the reflection prompts that we just discussed and went through. You have it all here to lay out. So you have it all in one place to kind of get you brainstorming on what images you want. And then you have a section here to create cards for your actual goals. You have the progress of the year and you have the vision board. Now, let me break this down a little bit more. So let's say you have uh, these three goals. You're able to track the progress within the card. I have the formula here already for you. So whatever you change this satisfaction number with for this goal, it'll update these circles there. So you can just see that on the cover and you can put images for each one of your goals individually and track them there, which I think is great. And then you also see the progress within the year. Also, here you have this vision board template. So this is an example of one that I created. As you can see, I have the colors um, in here to kind of re represent the mood. This is just an example. This is not really my real vision board. And the way that I like to do it, so let's say these are her three goals. She's going to travel to three new places. She's going to start a new business. She's going to um, do a new podcast. Let's also pretend like she has a goal for self-care. I like to do that in quadrants. So you can see this top corner is dedicated to her business goal. This bottom quarter is dedicated to her self-care. Um, so I'd like to put images for goals together. These are the images for her podcast and these are her images for her travel. And in the center, the word of the year with nature behind it and surrounding it. So it just kind of gives off the good vibes. There's also white space. Now you can see how this is gonna end up looking a lot better than what you're able to do like by just adding it within Notion. And again, I have the template to create this vision board using a Canva template. You, it's included in this Notion template and you just would insert it here by inserting the image of the Canva template once you download it. And that's how you get an aesthetic Notion vision board. Now that you know how to create a vision board in Notion, don't forget you need a strategy to actually implement those larger than life goals. And I definitely recommend using the strategies of the book, The 12 Week Year. If you're a 12 week year newbie, don't worry, I got you. Watch this next video on the summary of strategies in the 12 week year. Until next time, cheers to planning, manifesting, and enjoying, keyword enjoying your dream life.